Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 2nd, 2023. Well, yesterday we ended up with a really good day to the upside after the market heard from Jerome Powell, and they took from that speech that he has done raising rates or that the committee has done raising rates. After I went back and listened to that speech um, last night, I didn't hear quite the same thing, but the market is definitely excited about uh, that moves that they heard that there's no more interest rate increases. So that being said, we're looking at another push to the upside this morning in the pre-market. We've had some good earnings reports out this morning, adding some fuel to the fire. We had Asian markets last night, mostly up. Good increases in the Nikkei, good increases in Hong Kong. Shanghai, however, finished just a little bit lower, down um, just about half a percentage point. Um, European markets are green across the board and they are decidedly bullish, really strong moves. They also heard from the Fed that, hey, probably no more interest rate increases. So we'll see about that. And then we have oil prices. Um, higher as well this morning. They moved up yesterday and we're pushing higher here again this morning um, on this idea that hey everything is good to go and we're ready to just power through into the fourth quarter. So um, our bonds this morning, whatever he said that sparked some um, um, excitement with the market has driven bonds down pretty sharply here. We've got the 30 year at 4.90. The two year bond is at 4.95. So, and we've even dropped the shorter terms, the six month bond at 4.52. So fairly substantial decline in the bonds as well. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can shake off any of that bias that we might have. And let's really take a critical look at the price action of the charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, as you can see here in the diamonds, we continue to ra uh, rally strongly. I'm going to go ahead and remove this line just to clean up the chart a little bit. And you can see um, a very strong rally to the upside. We're tearing through yesterday. Um, came up here and tested this resistance area. And then this morning we're tearing right through that um, in the chart here, um, trying to power through um, heading into data points this morning. So taking a look at that, it looks like our next attempt um, at resistance test would be somewhere up here in this downtrend. If the bulls can maintain that energy here this morning, watch that carefully as we push up into here. You also want to watch this this next resistance level is a fairly significant resistance level in the chart. It goes way back over here. And as we push up toward that level, we'll want to watch that closely. Now, one of the things we're seeing is a very, very steep rally here. We did that over here. Notice that that really steep rally. And it was that downtrend right there that pushed us back lower. Not saying that's going to be the case this time, but let's keep a close eye on that. And let's remember just how many points we have rallied here in the market. There is that possibility that we could stretch this um, too far with a little too much excitement and then end up catching um, right into a pullback. So um, you might want to watch that carefully about not chasing this move too, uh, too far um, into the upside move. Now, that being said, if the bears were to find inspiration today, well, my first um, thought would be that we would come back down and maybe test this area of price support right here. And if that were to fail, then we do run that risk that we could pull back and come back into this level. Now, if you'll notice what I kind of drew there is it would be kind of a really off balance 
but you could see an inverted head and shoulders pattern possibly form if we did something like that. And even if we continue to rally, we could do that over here and end up putting in that head and shoulders pattern. But remember, what that means is for that to occur, there's a pullback on the way. So make sure you're preparing um, your, your thoughts for that. Uh, maybe some profit taking as we continue to stretch higher. I think I'm actually gonna be looking for a little bit of um, some potential short trades here in the market to see if I can take advantage of that bit of a pullback. Now let's take a look at our technicals in the chart. Our technicals in the chart notice that we're going to be pushing up here in the diamonds right up there into the 500 day moving average. The 34 EMA is right through there. We're trying to break through the 20 moving average right here this morning. So keep an eye on this zone and particularly right in this zone. Somewhere up in here um, in this area is going to be pretty critical. Um, it looks like uh, by this weekend um, we're going to have our 50 down through the 200. So we're going to create a tremendous tremendous zone of price resistance here in the chart on the technical basis. So just uh, keep an eye on that. Remember that we are still in a downtrend. Let's take a look at our SPY SPY also rallying up sharply and I've got the next we, we sliced through this resistance yesterday like it wasn't even there big tech had a big part of that they were really pushing to the upside yesterday in the tech giants and trying to recover and if you look up here we've got our next resistance here in the in the chart marked and that's not a super strong resistance area so it is possible we could blast right through there and then come right on up into the downtrend here in the chart. So keep that in mind. We'll want to watch that area between here and here if the bulls continue to find inspiration. If the bears uh, were to happen to find some inspiration, then I would first look for a pullback into here to test support. And so watch that area of the chart. And if that were to fail, then we move on lower. But once again, if we were to hold this area right in here and come back around, well, there's that little inverted head and shoulders pattern again. Once again, it does require a pullback. Now we could move on through up into here, test that resistance and do that right up here as well. So watch that carefully and just realize we're probably nearing um, a bit of a resting pattern or a pullback here in the market. So work that into your uh, thoughts and plans. And as we push up here, we went um, right up to the 200 day moving average um, on the close yesterday. This morning, we're trying to break through that and trying to push up here toward the 20 exponent or 20 moving average and the 34 exponential moving average. So keep Keep that in mind and one other thing I'm going to continue to remind I know it gets fear of missing out becomes very powerful in a run like this to the upside but let's remember we are still in a downtrend and that potential we could find that resistance point and continue to move lower let's take a look at our QQQ uh, QQQ still the strongest of the indexes and it had a great day yesterday as big tech really took off to the upside we, they have been struggling here but they really made an effort yesterday to move up strongly so um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this line again um, in this chart just to clean things up a little bit but as you can see we're pushing right up here through that very substantial area of price resistance that we failed the other day that pushed us down hard. So we've recovered this substantially. And if the bulls can continue to push, and you can see we're gapping up this morning here in the NASDAQ with the big push, um, watch this area right in here as we push up into this next level of price resistance in the chart. If we can pop through that, then we're going to be up here pushing into that overall downtrend. Let's keep in mind, we are still in a downtrend. So, so far, because we haven't put in, in any higher lows, we are still in just a relief rally. So when we rest or pull back, that puts in that higher low and that increases that opportunity of upside because we begin an upside trend. 
So keep that in mind as we continue to stretch. We're putting ourselves in a little bit of danger of a substantial pullback if something along the way stumbles. Now looking at our technicals here, by far the strongest of the indexes in here. You can see this morning we're gapping into our 34 and there really is no reason to believe that we can't continue this rally right up into that 50 day moving average. We'll wanna watch that carefully though as that downtrend will come into play pretty quickly here on that chart. Then let's take a look at our IWM. Our IWM also pushing to the upside finally. This thing has struggled to get moving here. Um, yesterday finally got fired up and today trying to follow through to the upside. So today we may have that opportunity where we can test this downtrend resistance. This has been the weakest of the indexes and really has had a failure to get moving in this rally to the upside. So it's got some catching up to do. We'll see if it can continue to fire up through here and if we could pop that downtrend resistance, you can see we've got a little bit, a uh, few tails in here that could provide a little bit of resistance. But if we can pop through there, then we have that opportunity to come right on up into that more major level of price resistance in the chart. Watch that carefully. Now, if that is the case, if this is going to be bullish here in the market and we, we're moving on from this point, that's a pretty good shoulder and a pretty good head on an inverted head and shoulders pattern. So however this finishes up, maybe we cross up here and, and, and put in our pullback up here, or maybe that pullback comes in underneath that area. But watch that carefully um, as this develops here in the IWM. Now, technically speaking, oh man, we've got a lot of work to do here on the Russell. Um, obviously, um, just trying to break this downtrend may be a pretty um, uh, big accomplishment of breaking through that big level of price resistance that runs across the chart there. But watch that as we start moving up into these moving averages. And clearly, we've got a lot of work here technically because all of our moving averages are on the wrong side of the world. So uh, watch that carefully. Now our VIX did a great job yesterday after Jerome Powell came um, out and we sank hard here in the VIX. Now the good news is if you're an option trader, that's going to lower the price of those options. And uh, as, as that fear kind of comes out of the market, so dropping pretty hard here in our fear, we broke this trend, so that's good news. And um, my my guess is with the gap up that we're seeing this morning, we're going to be down here testing some of these levels in the chart and possibly even pushing even lower here. Now remember, when we zoom in a direction and we leave no support behind, that we can reverse and we can reverse hard and fast. Remember, we still have two wars going on and lots of issues uh, geopolitically happening. We've got a, uh, a government that seems to be struggling um, to get their work done and we have another potential government shutdown coming um, our way. So um, remember, as we zoom to the upside, that fear of missing out is really, really a powerful emotion. If all of a sudden some reality comes back, wait a minute, all of these things that push us down, most of them are still there. So watch that carefully for that potential reversal. We need some kind of pullback, some kind of rest to hold a support level rather than just racing all the way back to the top in the fear of miss out, missing out action. Now, that being said, our T2122 had a great day yesterday as well, continuing to push up. We ended up breaking above the 50% area here in T2122. 21, 22. Now remember, all this is is a four-week new high, new low uh, um, average, and what it is, or ratio, I should say, not an average. What it's doing is it's telling us when we're oversold in the market and when we reach an overbought situation in the market. So T2122 is right here in the middle of the field, which means that if the bulls continue to find that inspiration, we could quickly stretch right up in here into that overbought situation. And a gap up like we're seeing this morning could quickly move us up here pretty fast in T2122. And then we reach that overextended condition and we catch that pullback or that resting pattern in the market consolidation to rest 
um, in this move. Now, we could continue to extend right through the end of this week because finally we got a little relief to the upside and everyone's excited about that. But just keep in mind, the farther we extend, the more we open up that opportunity if the bears are inspired for a substantial pullback. So be prepared and watch carefully. Don't race in blindly is what I'm saying. If you take a look at a T2108, T2108 had a good response yesterday, bouncing up. And this is what we've needed to see. We've needed to see some of that relief coming in here. We just haven't been getting a whole lot of energy to, uh, to push us through. Now, taking a look right in here, we're kind of breaking through some of those resistance levels, big resistance level up here yet to come. And keeping in mind, we've got a downtrend here that will probably be challenging and maybe even breaking here this morning. Um, 24 heading into 25% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. So a substantial improvement. Just keep in mind, once again, as we stretch higher, a pullback could come at any time. Our T2107 also finally moving to the upside here. Now, we did find this price support in here, which I think is good because at least we're not bouncing, you know, from a mid air point um, in the chart. We are reacting to a support level. But keep in mind, we haven't broken this downtrend yet. And uh, 28, almost 29% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. It's hard to get really excited about that. But if we can continue to show that bullishness and maybe test or even break that um, downtrend here today, that will certainly be an improvement and then we'll start looking at these next resistance levels in the chart see whether or not we can challenge those and it's possible we can challenge those by the end of this week as we continue this um, relief rally and kind of fear of missing out spike um, in the the market let's take a look at our uh, t2101 here's where our problem lies our t2101 even with that bullishness that we saw yesterday i want you to notice that the market breadth continued to fall um, that's not a good sign what it's showing is we had more in we had more inspiration on the sell wave than we did on the buy wave even though we're zooming here maybe that changes today with this enthusiasm that's coming in perhaps we start to see that buy wave turn back up on that market breadth watch that carefully here in the chart what this is really saying is a lot of the price move is still short covering um, we're not seeing that real strong buy wave of coming in so what we don't want to see is we don't want to see this mark of breath continuing to to decline as we stretch to the upside because that stretch to the upside if we don't have big buy power behind it means that the reversal when we find that topping point could be substantial so be kind of careful then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today our economic calendar well we've got little bit to be paying attention to that uh, could move us around this morning um, if you'll notice right in here let's get rid of that i don't need that if you notice right in here um, we're going to have those jobless numbers here this morning and that has been problematic for us we continue to see our jobs be very very hot um, so watch that closely. It's where that good news on jobs is bad news for the market. So watch that carefully. Um, productivity and costs will be coming in um, also at 830. And then we've got uh, factory orders, natural gas report. We've got some bond auctions here, a Fed balance sheet, and we've got some Fed speakers coming in here, here at the end of after the market close, that is. And then remember, after we get through all this excitement this, this morning, we're going to be thinking pretty cautiously about um, this employment situation number here. Um, because it, again, last time that was hot. Um, I don't think there's anything in the evidence that we've seen in any of the numbers um, leading up to this that this isn't going to be um, a little bit of a hot number as well. So watch carefully on that one Friday morning. Let's take a look 
at um, our earnings calendar. Now, uh, we've got a whopper of an earnings calendar today. There's no way that I can even come close to covering uh, all of um, these in a video today. Uh, well, unless you want to be here for an hour and a half. But <laughs> the notables that I have on the list, if you guys want to click the link below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list of notables. So keep a close eye out for that. And, and again, it's just right in the right below the title of the video where you um, can click that link and that'll get you back there. Now, our most notable for today is going to be Apple and there has been significant concern about what Apple may do um, in earnings because we've seen those numbers that the MacBook sales are way off we've seen that they've had to go over and try to do some um, some cajoling over there in China to get people to buy the iPhone over there in China. Tim Cook even went over there because sales are way off. So it'll be interesting to see um, if this can um, perform better than expected today. A miss here could turn us right back into that little bit of a bearish situation and bring those big techs down, making it difficult for the market to continue to push higher. So watch carefully there on Apple. Um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to, to do that and support the effort that it takes to put these videos out every single day. And I'm truly, truly humbled by the kind words that you guys put in the chat. Um, in the chat. Thank you so much. Also, please feel free to share these videos out there on your social media feed that helps the channel to continue to grow as well first off let's take a look you guys know I've been kind of talking about this Starbucks here keeping an eye on it and Starbucks reported this morning and boy we are getting a big pop here in Starbucks now unfortunately if I buy this here and this big candle here could easily whipsaw tremendously so it puts an awful lot of risk on the trade here to try and buy that but if Starbucks were to uh, settle down and pull back watch carefully in there if it settles back a little bit then watch for that next opportunity to the upside in starbucks we get through an earnings report like this and that's when i really want to get interested in that trade so keep an eye on that um also um, keep an eye on uh, Mickey D's here. Mickey D's um, still looking good in this pattern. I think this resting consolidation in here and the enthusiasm that we see today in the market could easily kick this one off to the upside. This would be a much lower risk entry than that Starbucks trade. So watch that carefully. You might want to take a look at um, some of the things over in um, the... Um, whoops, in the um, energy sector, um, Shell reporting a whopping earnings report today, doing really, really well. And you can see that big gap up here this morning could be breaking that little downtrend here in the chart. Now, oil has been incredibly uh, volatile here recently with all the uncertainty in the Middle East, um, um, uncertainty in our economic situation here. But there are some stocks out there looking uh, really, really good in that oil sector so keep an eye on that and as we see oil starting to push back up here with the enthusiasm that we've got in the market well um, we could certainly see some of these pushing on through to the upside take a look at um, whoops uh, marathon marathons pulled back to some support here trying to find some buyers watch that carefully um, still 
potential upside big hold of support here um, could show some good signs uh, to the upside um, upside on that move AR is trying to break resistance here to the upside um, looking very positive and it's kind of an ugly pattern but you can see that possibility here of that inverted type pattern neckline across in here and we're breaking through which means yeah, we could move from that that head up to the neckline uh, past that neckline up here which brings us probably up into this level of the chart here in AR so lots of lots of opportunity here in that oil sector you might also want to be keeping an eye on the dollar um, with the bonds falling back here this morning uh, the dollar is getting a good decline so with the dollar declining keep an eye on some of the precious metals um, take a look at silver silver as I've been talking about in this inverted head and shoulders pattern that's developing dollar declining would typically strengthen our precious metals so watch that carefully um, may have an opportunity for that to pop through um, gold is popping this morning in the pre-market the futures are suggesting gold is higher by nine dollars an ounce this morning um, holding above this support now this isn't a night a really nice pattern in my opinion it's too much stretch on this side i don't expect a trend like that to last but you'll want to watch that carefully if it does um, on that dollar fall find that that opportunity we could extend this on higher here and i would keep a real close eye on some of the miners out there um, if you look here these are the, the majors and quite an inverted head and shoulders pattern potentially forming in here and you can just drop into um, um, some of these uh, miners and there's a lot of them um, out here that are starting to show reasonable patterns Newmont um, Barry Gold that is a beautiful little inverted head and shoulders pattern there um, KGC um, AUY oh, oops I think it's just a I'm forgetting the symbol here all of a sudden senior moment guys so um, I apologize AU um, is one also um, there's that pattern here in the chart so there's a lot of these charts out there trying to show some interesting patterns that are worth keeping an eye on so watch those closely here as we progress throughout the day if the dollar continues to fall that could be good you might also want to be keeping an eye on um, some of the defensive sector stocks um, to get the right symbol uh, trying to show some bottoming patterns and coming up now I know these are old boring and everyone wants to be just a tech buyer here in the market but these are good strong dividend payers if you want that longer term hold and no matter what happens in the market we're gonna need these companies because everybody still needs to eat so here's that nice little higher low coming in here nice little support area we're coming into a trend enthusiasm today might be pushing that one to the upside keep an eye on CPB um, Mondelez um, looking good here stretching big time here this morning in the enthusiasm that's been moving up we've got stocks like Colgate Palmolive moving up here and um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention Walmart oh my goodness Walmart's coming into its earnings on the 16th and look at it go here um, soaring back up to um, all-time highs and that possibility that this could just break on out and continue to stretch up toward its earnings report so keep a close eye on those we're seeing uh, big moves and um, uh, general dynamics here holding up that would make sense with the wars going on um, aerospace and defense holding strength in here keep an eye on that that aerospace area and then um, small retailers discount retailers dollar general has been performing pretty well it pulled back yesterday um, watch that carefully in here if we can come back and find that support hold into an upside trend watch that closely seeing a lot of those discount 
discount retailers um, doing pretty well. Take a look at five below. It's been resting here a little bit longer now because we extended this trend. That's one of those examples when a, a trend gets too extended too far, then we typically typically go into a more of a protracted consolidation or more of a pullback. So watch that carefully here. But that hammer pattern um, showing up yesterday, um, a follow through with the enthusiasm today could certainly pop on through um, in that chart and um, take a look at um, stocks like Under Armour. Under Armour just got beat up this week. Big pullback, but notice that they really haven't sold it off past that point. So watch that if it can hold some support in there. There may be that chance. This would be on the bottom of the list for me right now until we kind of clear this trend up here, but something to watch. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. Truly, truly appreciate it. Thanks for all the kind words in the um, in, in the notes section. I really appreciate that. You guys take care. Be safe. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. And I wish you all the very, very best.